Hello everyone, Henry from Enterprise DNA here. In this video, we're going to look at how to integrate ChatGPT with Outlook using Power Automate. And here's the use case. Let's say you're a customer service associate and you receive emails like this all the time. And these emails are really long and hard to read. They're not organized in a way that emails should generally be organized. For example, here, the person wants to basically get some assistance with their order. So they give the order ID, but that's over here. The vendor is over here. The order date is over here. It's not organized in a night and easy fashion. You even have the vendor's name here, for example, and there's a lot of fluff in this email that you really just don't care about. Now, it's okay if it's a one-time use case, but let's say if you receive 10, 20, 50, 100 of these emails every single day, and you have to take some action on it. It's very hard to go through this email and summarize it and get the most important information. However, for ChatGPT, this is a complete breeze. So what people generally do here when they use ChatGPT is they take the email, they copy it, then they go to their ChatGPT interface, and over here they type in a prompt. For example, I've already typed in the prompt, take the following email and give me the key action items from it and extract the important information. So I'll just paste the email here. And then ChatGPT will go ahead and do its thing. And what's nice about it is that it'll give you the key action items you need to uh, take from this email. But the nice thing about it is it also gives you the most important information as well. For example, you know that they purchased a product from Bumblebee, the order ID, the date that it was ordered on, and really, that's the most important thing that you need to know as a customer service associate. So it's very nice because you can quickly see what they're trying to do and what you need to do to basically uh, address this email, which is send an email to the vendor, provide assistance, and respond to Jeffrey's email in a timely manner. And it even gives you more information as to the fact that Jeffrey has attempted to contact Bumblebee directly and that he's feeling drained and exhausted. And that's great. That's a perfect use case of ChatGPT. But you can see here that it's kind of annoying to do this copy and paste for every single email. Instead, what we can do is we can use Power Automate to automate this process and make it a lot easier for you to use ChatGPT. And in fact, you can do this in a way where you stay within Outlook and don't have to flip between different tabs. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we need to do is we need to use OpenAI's API and understand how it works. So I've created my own API key already. I'm then going to go to API reference. And if you go over here to, uh, let's see, completions, because this is a completion model, you can get a sense of how to actually make a completion request using the API. Over here, what you can do is you can copy the actual uh, example request. And then let's go to Postman to actually execute the request to see what it looks like. So I'm going to click Import when I'm in Postman. And I'm going to paste the curl text in here. And it's just going to basically import in the API for me, which is very nice. If I go to Headers, there are two things I need to fill out. First, I need to fill out the content type, which is application JSON. But I also need to fill out the open API, or sorry, the open AI API key, which again, I got from the previous page over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in and uh, I'll do that for myself. But again, every person has a different um, authorization key that you need to know. Okay, so let's go over here, paste that in here. Perfect. Now, if we go to body, there's a few things we need to kind of put down. We need to put down the model. We need to put down the prompt. We need to put down the max number of tokens. And then we need to put down the temperature. Okay. So the prompt is simply equivalent to what you put in over here. Okay. So just to make sure that the connection works properly, what I'm going to do over here is change this prompt to say something like create a song for me about flowers in the rain. Okay, and I'll give it a max token count of 600. Uh, tokens are basically a way to tell ChatGPT how many 
uh, how much currency or how many words do you want the response to be? Okay, let's go ahead and click send. We should make the temperature one as well, but that's okay. And there we go. We actually get text back in the form of a JSON, but you can see over here, it actually did the completion prompt. It says your flowers in the rain, so beautiful and serene. Site so divides, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, the um, slash N is just to indicate that there's a new line, but this worked exactly the way we wanted it to work. So we know that the API is working and can be accessed using Postman. Now that we know this works, we can then go to Power Automate and start building the actual flow itself. We are going to create a new flow and it'll be an automated cloud flow because it'll be triggered with the receipt of an actual email itself. So we'll go over here and we'll go to the Outlook connector and we'll select Office 365 Outlook. It'll then do its thing. And what we want to do over here is we want to, uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. we want to say when a new email arrives. Okay, perfect. Now that it's signed in, we're going to go to advanced options and we're going to go over here and we're going to only apply this rule for a subject that is very rare, right? We want to look for the specific string. So we're going to say over here, chat GPT, please summarize, okay? So now the use case here is whenever I receive an email like this, I can forward it to myself basically with this subject filter or with this subject and it'll actually then start the flow for me. Okay, perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an HTTP request. So I'm going to go over here and select uh, HTTP. And I'm basically going to copy the exact settings that I had made in Postman. So the method will be post. The URI over here was um, this API slash completions. Uh, the headers over here, we need to copy those as well. So we need to copy the content type. Let me get out of this one over here, perfect. The content type, which is the application JSON. Perfect as well as the authorization, which is your secret key. Okay, perfect. You then need to enter the body, uh, which contains the actual request that you want to make of ChatGPT. So I'm just going to paste that in here. However, the prompt is not going to be create a song for me about the flowers in the rain. It's instead going to be well, the first thing at least it's going to be is um, take the following email and give me the key action items from it. So I'm just going to copy this guy here and paste it here. Uh, and then I'm going to put a colon and then I'm actually going to go to my dynamic content and uh, basically provide the body. I'm just going to make sure I don't need to do anything else here. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to give it the body of the message. Whoops, not over here. It's supposed to be over here where the colon is. Body, perfect. And the max tokens here, I will put in as 4,000. And if I basically go to the documentation or the API reference and look at the different models uh, that I have access to, let me see over here. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, that's it right there. The next thing we need to do is we actually need to parse through the JSON request that we get back. Okay, so I'm going to go to parse JSON. And I need to generate the schema and I can actually generate the schema from an example. So I know what the receipt of the API looks like. It looks like something like this. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste that in here. And this is just so that Power Automate knows what the response of this HTTP request looks like, because it needs an example. It needs to know what it looks like in order for you to reference those variables later on in the flow, okay? The content of this will be the body output of this HTTP request. Perfect, we are almost there, okay? The last thing we need to do is we need to go to back to our Outlook. 
And let's see over here. Export email flag, email, get contact, get contact. Here, reply to email. The message ID that we're, we're that we're replying to is the same message that actually triggered this flow. So we can just find that in here. Message ID. Perfect. The body of this email will be equal to the text JSON element of the output of the HTTP request. So if I go over here to parse JSON, I can see text. I'm going to put that guy in there. And the reason why it gives me multiple apply to each, because technically you can have multiple text properties, although we're, we're actually not going to have that because this is a completion request, not a image request. But that's why you get the apply to each, but you don't need to worry about it because it will only be applied once. Okay, perfect. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and actually save the flow. And now we will test it by clicking test and then selecting manually. Perfect. So now we actually need to execute this flow. And what we'll do is we will go back over here. We will get the email that we received. We will then forward it to ourselves just to trigger this to occur. Uh, but basically what will happen over here is let's say if we receive an email like this and we want to summarize it, we're going to forward it to ourselves and we're going to take the subject and just add that one string to it. Okay. We're then going to select send and it should trigger the flow anytime now. But again, the use case here is if you ever get an email like this, you don't need to go to chat GPT Instead, you can forward it to yourself and just add that subject line to it. And perfect, look at that. Looks like the flow succeeded because what we got instantly afterwards is we got a message from ourselves again that basically says here are the key action items. Uh, perfect, right over here. Key action items, request a refund with the vendor for a faulty product with order ID 556781, purchase, blah, 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 ask for assistance, and so on and so forth. Okay. now. Technically, what we need to do is we actually need to have a fail condition for this automate flow because it will just keep going and going and going infinitely. But there we go. Those are the basics of how to basically use Power Automate with ChatGPT and Outlook. And you can have many different use cases here, right? Because once you have the ChatGPT API working in Power Automate, you know that Power Automate can connect to all of these different connectors. So whereas we just created a very simple summarization bot that someone can use, you can create a whole host of other things that not only interact with Outlook, but also with things like Power BI, Power Apps, and all of these amazing connectors like even SQL Server, YouTube, Gmail, Twitter, everything you can imagine. Okay, there we go, awesome. Thanks everyone. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.